Hello and welcome to Ticker Tapes. It's Monday, so that means fangs are on the agenda again. Fangs bounced back last week as part of a wider move higher by blue chip equities. Each of the five stocks that make up the group rallied by a minimum of 5%. The best performer was Alphabet Inc., which put on 6.34% and is now up by 1.39% over the last month and is the only Fang stock in positive territory over that period. Despite those healthy gains, brokers Everscore ISI reduced its price target on Google's parent company, cutting it to $3,000 from $3,110, citing high-cost inflationary pressures, fierce FX headwinds, and increasing signs of softening consumer demand. Evercore did not single Alphabet out, however. Instead, it applied the same logic to all of the large-cap internet stocks under its coverage. Alphabet is due to report earnings after the close on July 26th. Alphabet could be implicated in another European competition inquiry as regulators there probe the activities of the Alliance for Open Media, or AOM, of which Alphabet is a member. The organization aims to standardize streaming media technologies. However, European authorities are concerned that its licensing policies might be anti-competitive and have started a preliminary investigation into the trade body, whose members also include Amazon, Apple, and Meta platforms. Apple is to make a rugged smartwatch with a larger display that's aimed at extreme sports fans and participants. The rugged watch will feature a metal case and a 1.9-inch display with a resolution of 410 pixels by 502, providing users with around 7% more screen area than on current Apple Watches. That larger display could be used to display additional metrics around fitness and activity levels. Apple will use a robust metal case and shatterproof glass in the watch. Currently, smartwatch sales generate around $38 billion of revenue per annum for Apple in what is becoming an increasingly crowded marketplace. Amazon has pulled out the deal to open a cargo hub at Newark Liberty International Airport. The project involved a 20-year lease and hundreds of millions of dollars. However, it seems that Amazon and New York's Port Authority were unable to agree on terms and both parties decided to end negotiations as an impasse had been reached. Amazon's Prime Day event is almost here, and the online retailer has revealed deals with savings as high as 79%. Bose and Sony headphones and smart Fire TVs are among the bargains, with a 32-inch model offered at $49.99 and a 50-inch smart TV on offer at $99. Netflix has debuted immersive spatial audio that should enhance its members' viewing experience. The new audio technology has been been developed in partnership with Sennheiser. Writing about the new service on the company's blog, Netflix said, Spatial audio will roll out across our catalog beginning today, and you can hear it for yourself by typing spatial audio into the search bar and selecting a show or film that supports it in the search results. Adding that, This magical combination of sight and sound will bring viewers closer to the story.